Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. Today's video, we're continuing our discussions around rose mount and micromotion flow meter technologies. More specifically, we're introducing the idea or the requirement for straight run before and after flow meters. And we're going to talk about why this even exists. And this graphic here does a great job of illustrating it, but for many flow meter technologies, it will require literal straight pipe both before and after the flow meter. And this is an installation requirement we have in order to ensure that the flow meter uh, lives up to the accuracy and repeatability specs as per laboratory conditions. And what this does is it allows for a well formed flow regime uh, to exist to make sure that we have have that nice turbulent flow profile that we talked about in the last video. And as it sounds, it's very, very straightforward, uh, no pun intended, uh, but we need a certain amount of straight pipe before and after the flow meter. Um, and this is given in terms of pipe diameters to make it nice and simple. So if you have a four inch pipe or a 48 inch pipe, you know exactly how much straight pipe you're going to need both before and after. With Rosemount's conditioning orifice plate, uh, it's a great DP solution and it only needs two upstream and two downstream. So if you have a 12 inch pipe, that would only be two feet upstream and two feet downstream and you're going to have a well formed uh, flow regime for that flow meter. Now, like I said, the need for this comes from uh, we want to have a nice, well-developed uh, flow regime. So as you can see, different disturbances in your piping network, whether it be a single piping elbow or two 90 degrees elbows that are close coupled, they'll produce different disturbances in that flow regime. And so as you can see, we have to kind of wait it out for that uh, flow profile to get back to that turbulent state, as you can see by uh, the image kind of more on the right side here, uh, where you have those nice, even velocity vectors. That's going to be the perfect spot to take a flow meter uh, measurement or a velocity measurement and then you're left with a volumetric measurement from that. So this is something very important and something we need to consider when we're picking the most appropriate technologies. Some have significant straight run requirements, others have no straight run requirements and this is something that goes into uh, picking the most appropriate solution. Should you have any questions about rose mount or micromotion flow meter technologies or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.